Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jana. Thank you so much for coming! So today, we're going to be talking about my 2021 wish list. I thought long and hard about this and I was trying to figure out what I actually want to put on my wish list because I have a Pinterest board of like designer things that I really like looking at but not necessarily like to put it on my wish list and then I have another wish list board that is actually my wish list that I actually want to get you know it's all a lot of back and forth between those two boards sometimes I like to put things on my designer and then I move them to my wish list and then I have my wish list board and then sometimes I'm like eh, I don't like it anymore so then put on my designer so today we're going to be talking about my wish list one because I think this is a pretty solid list for 2021. So at the top of my list is actually a Celine bag. I have two Celine bags in this wish list and I never thought I would do that because ever since I got my Celine glasses, these are blue light glasses with my prescription in them. Um, I have been loving Celine bags. I don't know what it is. The leather on this like case is so nice. So it's a Celine bag and it is the Teen Triumph bag. Now I actually talked about this bag in my A Bag A Day series but I talked about it in the medium size with a different print but this bag guys okay oh my gosh if you've watched that series you will know that i've been loving like the calfskin with the canvas material in a bag recently and i think this would be a perfect opportunity to get one for the spring and summer months because it is so small I just think it will work for spring and summer just because it's not like it's spring and summer you don't want to carry too much stuff you're all sweaty you don't want your bags to be super heavy right so I think this bag is just mwah, top of my list right now love it oh I want to explain something though because if you watch my series there's a TV bag that I was looking at that looked exactly the same as this but it was Burberry instead of Celine and it's also like a third of the price of this but looking at this compared to this the Burberry I love the look of this one more so I would be happy to pay <laughs> that much more for the bag because it's the look it's the style of it and the clasp of the Burberry one I didn't realize it kind of folds out like this and I don't think I would like that because I think it'd be a little bit too cumbersome for me I rather just like pinch the side and the bag opening up okay second on my list i would say it's tied between the celine pico belt bag and the ysl tote i know i know i can't believe i am putting a luxury tote bag in my wish list but i have been reviewing not reviewing i've been watching videos on the YSL tote bag and everyone says they really like it the leather is really nice it's like a soft leather and also they've used it like ever every single day ever since they bought it and I'm just like okay if I'm gonna invest in a bag maybe like a luxury tote bag maybe I should get something I could use every single day but I'm still debating between that one because if you watched my Kuyano video, I said I don't really want to spend that much money on a tote bag. So we'll see about that. But the Celine Pico bag, I actually tried this on in the store when it was still open and I really liked it, but I wasn't in a mood. I wasn't in a mood of like purchasing anything at that time and also it just came out and there weren't as many reviews on it or anything. I mean, there's still not that many reviews on this, but I really like the style of this. You can wear it year round because of the color that I chose. Um, I think because it's so small, it's a really nice spring and summer bag, just like the other Celine bag that we talked about. I definitely think Celine is my top priority for bags right now. And I, I love it. I love it. So yeah, it's the third on my list is the YSL bag. This I will purchase definitely after my Celine bags, but I really like this. 
and they it comes with a little pouch that you can put like your stuff in there and i was thinking use that as a little catch-all for my celine belt bag you know actually the toiletry 15 fits in that celine bag because i tried it to put my stuff in when I had my Alma BB. I like carried it. I was like, yes, we're gonna put some stuff in and see how much it fits. And surprisingly, it fits so much stuff in there. So I'm thinking this pouch might be a good catch all for the sling bag. The fourth thing on my wish list is the Van Cleef Sweet Alhavra. Okay, I think I decided on the size that I want. So I think I'm going to go with the suite because I really want to get like a special edition vintage with the diamond inside in the future. So maybe this might be a good option to start off with and then maybe getting the vintage as like a statement piece. Um, but this, I would definitely wear this every single day. Um, but yeah, I love it and definitely on my wish list right now. The fourth thing is another piece of jewelry from Tiffany & Co. Now, I still really like this necklace. It is the mini round key pendant, I think. This is not in stock anymore though. So like I've checked multiple times and it's still not in stock. So I'm not sure if it's like discontinued or anything, but I really like this and Hopefully, I can add this on my wish list. I do like it in the gold color. Okay, so the next item on my wish list is actually this YSL tiny monogram card holder in either the smooth leather or the grainy leather. Don't know which one because every time I felt YSL grainy leather, didn't really like it. So this is something that is like in the back of my mind. And maybe when like shops open up again, I will try see it in the store and feel the leather but i really like how simple this is i really like how the ysl logo is super tiny i don't like the original one because it's just really fat just like the uh, chanel card holder but i wanted something really slim and simple so i could put into my mini pochette but i'm using that as a little clutch so hopefully i can add this to my collection if i buy the tote bag from ysl so i think i'll definitely buy these two like together the next item i really i think okay i really want <laughs> the Burberry classic cashmere scarf now I talked about this so many times it's always on my wish list but I never purchase it because I, I don't know what it is about it okay I love the look of it I love the style of it I love the pattern of it but there's something about it where I'm just like I, I don't know if I can pull the trigger I tried it on before. I tried the bigger one as well because I love my big chunky scarves. It's either the material for me or it's just the practicality. I know I will use it all the time because I love my scarves, but because I'm a teacher and I go into the school in person, I just don't know if I want to risk having this like during recess when all the kids are like throwing snow and stuff. So I, I, this yeah <laughs> something about it you know so hopefully maybe we'll get this okay and the last item on my wish list okay i definitely will not get this t this year if i'm getting like the two celine bags but guys i think it need, it's on my wish list because i need people to notice this piece because it is beautiful I've never liked anything from Hermes before. It's just not really my style. I mean, I do really like the like the Kelly, like mini Kelly, and also the Birkin now. Um, but I don't think I would ever own it. It's just too much money. I don't want to spend that kind of money on a handbag. But this bracelet from Hermes, I love i saw this on youtube from this girl i don't remember who had it she was like wearing her everyday stack oh my god it is beautiful i love the like the dangle piece there i love the little diamonds i love the h stamping but honestly i think it will be too big for my wrist so maybe they can like adjust it but i really like this but it is like 
$3,000 for a bracelet. So I don't know if I can like spend that kind of money on a bracelet this year, but maybe in the future because I really like this. <laughs> I love it. So that is it for my wishlist videos. I would love to know what your wishlist is for 2021 because, you know, I'm always looking at luxury things, you know, I just love it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!